Welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you how you use the inpainting method with flux. Unfortunately, I cannot offer you a special inpainting model here. Uh, this workflow uses the standard model for inpainting. That means that results are not optimal every time you use it, but I was surprised how well this works in some cases. It's always a mix between the source image Image, the mask and what you want to get in painted into your image just that you know this is not a specialized in painting model it's using the standard flux dev model this workflow is working with the flux dev with the schnell and also with the ggof model it's using the standard case sampler and it's the most imaginable simple workflow for in painting I would say let's build it from scratch let's clear the workspace let's load the checkpoint double click on the background and load checkpoint you can also use the ggof loader here the unit loader ggof would work but for simplicity I use a load checkpoint note so we need this simple clip text encode for positive and negative i think the negative prompt will be ignored then we use the in paint model conditioning node connect the positive to positive and the negative to negative we connect the vae we need an image load image node we need to load a source image i choose this female warrior future warrior on a spaceship we can directly connect the image to the pixels port of the inpaint model conditioning and for the mask i like to use something which makes the masks more more blurry so the transition between black and white is more smooth i use the grow mask with blur node out of the k nodes package i will link this in the description below connect this to the mask port and then we can already go to our k sampler connect this negative connect the latent and we connect the model if you use the ggof model loader you need to load the clip extra and the vae extra for simplicity reasons this is all combined here and it works quite well let's choose the flux dev model so we need to decode everything connect the vae to the decode and then we can save the image with a save image node that should be the whole workflow so let's create our mask we do it in the mask editor so right click on the image and choose open mask editor i want to replace the head so i draw the mask over the head save to note and now we have our mask so i want a mask preview pull out the mask port and search for mask to image i choose the convert mask to image and i pull out the image port to create a preview image now we need the actual prompt i simply choose alien face and for the negative text watermark i think this gets ignored anyways and we have to do some settings for the mask i choose 10 for the expansion and i choose the blur radius to 20 and that should be it 
let's fix the control after generate behavior in the sampler and let's let's do 30 steps and the cfg goes to one maybe let's try to put the denoise to 0.8 and let's give it a try so in this case it's a quite promising result yeah that's it already so a simple inpainting workflow. I hope there will be a special optimized inpainting a model for Flux. We will see as soon as this uh, is getting released, I will tell you. You will find this workflow on Patreon for free. Get a free member and then you can download this for free. Hope this tutorial helped you. Please subscribe. That helps a lot. Write your thoughts into the comments and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.